Oh yeah, the scruff is real. I need to shave. So, heading into super training. It's uh, 2.20, so I'm a little bit late, but they usually don't start training until like 2.50. Um, update, I am going to be at the LA Fit Expo. I'll be there on Saturday at the super training booth in the morning. I don't know if I'll be there on Sunday. I still do want to go down. That sounded weird. Uh, Cliff Bar on deck today. Again, I told you I'm not counting. I had breakfast with my girlfriend this morning because she just finished finals. Didn't count that either, but it was like a massive burrito. And I'll be taking over Ape Athletic Snapchat at the Fit Expo. So come say hi. I want to meet anyone who recognizes me there. I don't expect it to be that many people, but I want to take some pictures, have some fun doing expo things. So see you at the gym. Fucker. Okay, well, looks like I need to change this. Great. To the expo. Uh, hmm, maybe I should get my tires changed. And uh, my car serviced and all that shit. And then, boom, I come down. And so flat. Okay. At least you're a pro at this now. <laughs> no, why am I not just squatting? Gosh. Squat it out. Get those hips warm. It's not even squatting today, so. You look like a giant baby. Bobby Zabba. You're so sweaty. <laughs>
tires changed right now. I actually had to leave super training a little early because of that. <laughs> and now that we're here, we're gonna get rid of this fucking hair. Again, let's pinpoint the Natty Professor is slightly balding. Or I have a receding hairline right here, which I always bring up because uh, people like to say that's because of steroid use. Anyway, how much am I weighing in the evening? Oh, let's check this out. Shit. Okay, can you see that? That's uh. Ugh, that's 269. Oh shit, actually, that's at 271. <sighs> but without the camera, it's 269. So, let's do some fancy ass camera trick right now. We're gonna go from here. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Doop, doop, doop. Okay, let's talk. Okay, so I have some incentive to finish this video fast because I have a lot of emails and clients to respond to, but how I've been getting so much stronger in the past three or so months since I've been at Super Training while doing jujitsu. You know, I I do programming, right? So I program myself, I program clients, etc. But I really believe that the, the, the kind of workouts I've been doing on super training and the kind of training I've been doing hasn't been anything that I haven't really done, right? It hasn't been any type of progression scheme or, you know, or workouts. Actually, I have been doing some new things like the bamboo bar and using the slingshot more, which actually really have helped my, helped, helped my bench. But the big, the big difference in terms of training over there has been, like I've mentioned before, being around people that are better than me. Now, I don't mind, I do not, I have no ego in that sense. I don't mind being around people that are better than me at doing certain things. I don't feel uncomfortable. I don't feel threatened. Um, I feel like it's a good challenge to help myself get better by seeing other people do things that I am not currently able to do. And I think because I'm able to see people benching four plus in the fives, I'm able to see people deadlifting sevens easily. Um, because of that, my, I have been more motivated in my training to get stronger, to really push myself to a place where I haven't been before. Because I mean, I'm training with people that are, are much better than me. And because of that, yeah, my programming's good. I'm doing a lot of new things in terms of my bench. But because of that factor, and always watching lifters with different types of form and that are lifting heavier weight, I have become a much stronger lifter and my strength isn't decreasing. Uh, my strength isn't even tapering off. Um, I deloaded these past two weeks and I'm continuing to gain strength. Every single day I see, I notice something new in a way a lifter's doing something. And that is helping me in terms of my own athletic performance. So. My tip to you in this video, um, I know not everybody has the liberty or the ability to find a gym where you could train with really strong athletes or where you can be with people stronger than you, but I shouldn't say that. You probably can find a place. And if you really do want to get stronger, first off, yes, train in a smart fashion where you're focusing on your form, you're focusing on progression, you're making sure you have decent programming to help you get better. But at the same time, train with people that are better than you. I know there are a lot of people on this channel, men and women, that probably like being the top dog or being the smartest, right? But you need to put yourself in a place that you're not the best, if you want to become the best. And at Super Training, I'm far from being the best lifter there or the strongest lifter there. Um, but I think by continuing to train there within the next few years, I will have a shot. So, question of the day. What are you currently doing in your current athletic endeavor, 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 whether it be you know lifting, martial arts, whatever. What are you currently doing other than programming or tracking your macros or whatever um, to get better? This could be watching YouTube videos of lifters that are better than you. This could be lifting with lifters that are better than you. This one could be working with a coach that knows what they're doing that's better than you. What are you currently doing that's putting you in a better place? 
that's it. This is Nsima the Centaur Eang from Break the Bar, Be an Anomaly. I hope to see you at the San Jose Fit Expo. Also, let me know if you're going to be there. And I will talk to all of you very, very, whoa, stop, cut there. Like the video if you like the video because I know you like the video, so go ahead and like the video. This is Nsima the Centaur Eang from Break the Bar, Be an Anomaly, and I will talk to all of you very, very soon.